This is the trading floor at Cantor Fitzgerald after a remarkable comeback from September 11th. God, please be my dad. 658 Cantor employees died on 9-11, trapped above the fire in the North Tower at the World Trade Center. CEO Howard Lutnick survived because he was taking his son to kindergarten, but he lost his brother Gary and his best friend, and he became the public face of Cantor's tragedy. My brother's on the 103rd floor. There's no, there is no 103rd floor. Yeah. Today, Lutnick is back on his feet, composed and driven. He's rebuilt Cantor, and like other Wall Street firms that lost employees, the company has helped victims' families, giving away $180 million. The most important thing in my life was how big a number I could get to. How much could I be a part of their lives and make a difference? Cantor relocated to Midtown Manhattan, rebuilding its headquarters on the lower floors. The company is now twice as profitable as it was a decade ago. Offer me 1.810. And the New York offices have grown from just 150 people after the attacks to nearly 1,500. Some are children of Cantor employees who were killed in the attacks. The fact that they'd be willing to go work for the firm where, where their dad was killed, it is the greatest honor uh, we can have, and, and it's my pleasure. Lutnick remains a fierce businessman, but at certain moments, he struggles. It's really amazing. He describes himself as heartbroken, but says he finds comfort in family, both his own and the extended family at Cantor Fitzgerald. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News, New York.